from New York. Like, we don't play them games. You want something? Go get it. Make it happen. Straight up and down, just like that. Oh. <laughs> it's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at it. Get your bag up. So, today's video, I'm going to be talking about entrepreneurship. Right? That's what we always talk about. Not so much a cliche entrepreneurship. More like a motivation on becoming an entrepreneur and trying to stay positive and always staying on top of things and not being discouraged, right? So lately I've been seeing a lot of things on Instagram. I've been talking to a lot of my friends and different entrepreneurs and a lot of them is getting discouraged. They're getting discouraged because they feel like their market that they're in is saturated. And they're right, it is. Like, it really is saturated. Like, everybody's selling lip gloss, everybody's selling lashes, everybody's selling shea butter, everybody's selling candles, right? Oh, okay. And everybody's trying to make merch. But my whole thing is, who cares? Who cares? Like, who gives a <laughs> Who gives? That has nothing to do with you. I always tell people that your business is your business, right? You got to stay in your lane. Don't worry about nobody else and what they're doing. Like, just worry about you and how you can exceed and how you can elevate to where you want to elevate in life and in your business, right? And so take me, for instance. I'm in a candle business. Like, I love, 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 love candles. Before I even started my business, like, I used to spend so much money on candles. It's not even funny. Like, I feel like a clean home is not complete until you burn that candle. You sit there and you sit back and relax and be like, yeah. My home is about to be the bomb, it's lit, it's relaxing time, self-care, all day. Like, that's me. So, I kept saying, like, I want to try to make candles. But I didn't really have the time because I work full-time. I'm a mother of two. I have a little girl and I have a little boy. So, life was just hectic all, hectic all together. So, once the pandemic happened and they told us that we can telework and I started working from home, I had more time on my hands. And so that's when I decided, you know what, let me start trying to make candles. So <laughs> I'm laughing because I've launched my business officially, I want to say like Memorial Day weekend. But baby, if you could see the progress, and I might enter some pictures. If you can see the progress from where I started with my product versus where I am now, the growth is dope. The growth is real. Like, I glowed up. I'm not going to hold you. I started off trying to find the right wax. Um, I was trying to do 464, which is soy wax. And because everybody said it was organic, it's natural, it has a cleaner burn. But honestly, I'm going to let you know. Just because somebody else say something is good and it works for them, it may not work for you. And so I'm okay with that. I got to a point and I was like, listen, this ain't it. This Soy 464, it sounds amazing, right? People will have all these great rays and reviews and this is what the people want. But that's not what I want. I want a good smelling candle, right? Not no candle that's a hit and miss and it may smell this time, but it may not smell this the next time. I want a good smelling candle and I want something that people can appreciate. That people is spending their money and they're getting what they're spending their money for. Like, it's worth it, right? So I finally found the wax of my choice. I did some more trial and error research. I test a couple of wicks. I, you know, I did a couple of things. Like, it, it was just a long journey. Like I said, I probably started back in March. And I didn't officially launch into, like, the last week in May. And even to this day, I'm always, like, trying new things. And I'm always trying to figure out how to be better, how to make my product better. And so it really doesn't stop at all. So I say that to say there's a lot of other candle businesses out there. Like there's a lot of competitors. There's candle groups. There's like Instagram is always showing me other candle competitors. And at the end of the day, that shit does not discourage me. It does not. Because I have my own audience, I have my own way of how I market my business, how I brand my business, how I make my product, 
how I sell it to my customers. And what I do is not what somebody else is going to do. And so what I do works for me. And so I stay in the lane that I'm in. I don't try to worry about what nobody else mm. is doing. My brand is solely about mental health and promoting self-care and wellness. So with that being said, I'm very big on taking care of yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, this is why I invested in myself and I got a life coach and I decided to start seeing a therapist is because we can't figure everything out on our own. And so it's okay to need help. It's okay to ask for help and it's okay to seek for help. And so that's what I did. And so I encourage anybody who may need some type of guidance to find a person, find your person to talk to. It doesn't have to be a family member or a friend. It can be professional help, like I said. If you need a life coach, check the link in the description below. I'll, you know, give you the information to my life coach. She's amazing. She does it virtually. She meets your needs. She's very down to earth. She's very faith-based. Um, and I love it. You know, her husband, he is very business-oriented as well. He helps me with my business dramat dr dramatically. <laughs> And I appreciate them both. You know, my life coach was once my supervisor when I was in New York and I was working as a case manager. We always kept in touch ever since I left New York. And so one day I had remember calling her and I was like, listen, I'm going through some stuff and you just always keep it real. Like I could always go to you about anything. And I was like, you know, would you mind being my life coach? And she was like, you know, I actually did the certification. I did the classes to become a life coach. So, yes, I can be a life coach. And that's how I started my journey with her. It was amazing. It helped me dramatically. And I would recommend it to anybody. You know, business is hard. Being an entrepreneur is hard. Like, I have ups, downs. There's days where I have a whole bunch of sales. And there's days where I don't have any sales. But what I do do is be consistent right people is always watching you even when you think they're not they're watching i have customers that you know are been following me for months and decide one day hey i want to place an order when i see their name and i'm like oh look at that you decided to you know indulge in a little self-care and get you some bella rose essential i appreciate it all you know what i mean so when i say keep doing what you're doing people will come for instance this past week i decided to post consistently like i've been doing my research and i've been trying to figure out how to make sure you know people are seeing my brand people are seeing me people are seeing my products and so this past week i decided i wouldn't do any promotions through facebook or instagram so i've been organically trying to get my engagement through instagram and so I've tried different ways and different steps to do that. And I noticed I had like four returning customers, customers that was like in the beginning when I first launched my business. I had four customers that came back and purchased just because of the consistency and them seeing me post on social media, me engaging with them, explaining my products, not just pushing them on people like, hey, bye, 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 you know. It's like, what's the benefits of my products, right? What are you going to get when you purchase Bella Rose Essential? And so because of that, I always tell people to make sure you are consistent with what you do. Make sure you have a plan. Make sure you stay in your lane. Like I said, those other people that is doing the same thing that you're doing, that's great. It's amazing. I tell people all the time, like, it's enough money for us all out here to eat. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like, there's enough money out here for everybody to eat. So just focus on you and do what you got to do, you know? Like I said, I'm always here. If you ever want to ask any questions, DM me on social media. Like I said, my business social media is Bella, B-E-L-L-A underscore Rose Essentials. That's on Instagram. And if you want my personal, I'll drop that below in the description bar. DM me, email me, whatever it is. Ask me questions. I'm very down to earth. You can ask me um, anything business-wise. Let's not Let's not go away from business, <laughs> right? Um, I don't want no creeps up in my DMs that I do not want. But I am open for anybody's business questions or just anything about personal growth and development. Any questions about self-care. Um, I'm still learning myself. I have a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. There's so much I want to do. There's so many goals I have for myself business-wise and personally. Um, and so because of that, I'm just ready to embark on this new journey. You know, 2020 was very different, to say the least. But it was actually very good to me. Like, I had a lot of bumps this year, but I wouldn't take it back. I wouldn't take it back at all because I'm making the best of it. I'm making the best out of this year. This year was 
tragic in so I'm turning this tragedy that we had this year into triumph and that's if you wanted to start a business if you wanted to start a YouTube channel if you wanted to go start going back to church if you wanted to whatever you know whatever it is that you wanted to do now is the time to do it like don't wait any longer don't waste any more time like get it done there's so many things that i want to do and i have a list and it's like i'm checking off everything on my list one by one and every time i check something off my list i feel so accomplished i feel so alive i feel like i'm getting things done i feel very productive you know what i mean we put a lot of our time and energy into others and you know the rest of 2020 and 2021 is about giving back to us right pouring back into ourselves, you know, revitalizing ourselves and getting everything that we need, right? Because we can't wait for nobody else to give it to us. We got to go and get it. We got to go and get it. I'm a go-getter. I'm from New York. Like, we don't play them games. If you want something, go get it. Make it happen. Straight up and down, just like that. Oh, <laughs> I had to get a little ratchet for y'all. But all jokes aside, like, just get it done, right? This video, I hope it encourages you. I hope it motivates you. I hope it inspires you to do that thing that you've been holding off from doing and actually getting it done. Okay? It ain't going to be easy. Let me not shake it it. It is not going to be easy. Trust me. I, I, I'm i still trying to figure out work-life balance in my personal business. Okay? All right? And if somebody got a blueprint, Send it to me. Send it to me so I can see what it is. Because baby, I'm just trying to do what it is. Stay tuned for my next video that I'll be uploading. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I have an idea. I think I'm going to show y'all how to make something. A new product that I haven't officially launched yet. But I will be launching it soon. So stay tuned. And make sure you click the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notifications. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Bella underscore Rose Essentials. And don't forget to check out our website, BellaRoseEssential.com. We got all your home essential needs. We got merchandise. You check it out. We got it. And stay tuned. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie,